Hey guys, happy homebrew Wednesday for September 11th, 2013. Now the official start of fall is only 11 days away and it's my favorite time of the year. Um, I love everything about the fall and I mean winter too but I mean there's just so many things to do in autumn. Um, I love watching the leaves change colors. I love the uh, you know the crisp cool mornings, the dew on the grass, picking pumpkins, hay rides, corn mazes, that kind of thing. And I figured I'd get in the mood today by trying a microbrew uh, beer from the Bong Trail uh, Brewing Company in Bridgewater Corners, Vermont. Now, the beer I'm going to try today is Long Trail's Pumpkin Ale. Uh, this is a beer I've never had before. I've never had any kind of a, a pumpkin ale, um, period. Uh, truth be told, I didn't even start drinking beer until I decided I was going to start making beer. But, as you can see, the, uh, the label is pretty cool. It's got a picture of a bear wearing an old-fashioned uh, flannel uh, shirt since it's cold out. And he's picking a, a bunch of pumpkins. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but at the very top it says, Take a Hike. <clears throat> and it's got a description on the bottle. It says, A slightly sweet seasonal treat featuring pumpkin and spices, artfully blended to pumpkin ale perfection. And it notes that it's limited availability. Uh, I don't know if that's just because it's seasonal uh, or their distribution range isn't that that big, but it's been sitting in my freezer for a couple of days, and we're going to give it a shot. Handy dandy multi-tool. Okay, decent hiss. <clears throat> well, I still have a slight cold, but at least today I can breathe through my nose. Oh wow. <laughs> now that is actually, that is something. I can smell pumpkin and cinnamon, nutmeg. <clears throat> I mean, honestly guys, this smells like a pumpkin pie. So let's give it a quick pour and see if it tastes as good as it smells. slightly more head than I actually wanted, but being a newbie beer drinker, I don't know what I'm doing while I'm pouring it. So we've got, yeah, that's like a four finger head on it. As you can see, it's very dark, um, very carbonated. It's got a crazy upside down snowstorm going on. Uh, well, cheers guys. is something completely different than anything I've ever tasted. Um, I mean obviously you can taste that it's beer, but <clears throat> the pumpkin taste is right in the forefront. I mean it's just sitting like straight on top. It's not overpowering but you can definitely tell it's there. You can taste the cinnamon and the nutmegs and the allspice. That's actually uh, that's pretty good. It's a uh, <clears throat> it's a good thing I bought an entire case of it. I was kind of leery of doing that at first since I've never had a pumpkin ale. I didn't know if I'd like it. <clears throat> and I mean, for the price of the case, I was like, no. If I don't like it, I'm gonna have to give it away. And it's really didn't want to piss away the money, but I'd say it was mo money well spent. <clears throat> okay, a uh, couple of updates that I have going on. The all grain. A uh, beer that I did a video on, the Bootleg Bills English Bitter, is in the keg, and I tried a glass or two, or okay, maybe four, uh, just to see how it was coming along. And even though the the flavors are still green, um, 
it tastes pretty good now. <clears throat> but I'm gonna, you know, I put that keg in uh, in a closet, and I'm gonna try to forget about it for three or four weeks, and see how it tastes after that. And we'll be doing a beer review on it. <clears throat> uh, some other things. Let's see. Oh, uh, the apple cider. Um, the cider that I did a video on. I <clears throat> I don't usually bottle the ciders because um, I drink them basically as soon as they get done but the last batch I decided to um, bottle up a six pack um, it's been sitting down in my basement now for three weeks I'm gonna let that sit another week before I try it um, just to see if the carbonation changes the flavor profile or anything like that <clears throat> it's sitting at 8.5 percent alcohol um, I'll probably do a review on that or I'll just you know drink it during a homebrew Wednesday video um, oh my elderberry wine it's finally finished I bottled that last week um, I don't have a bottle of it here yet because I haven't come up with a decent sounding name for it you know I'm not gonna show off the bottle unless I have a label for it and I'm having kind of like a writer's block I can't think of a name that sounds, you know, decent. Um, excuse me. So, if anybody watching the video might have an idea, um, you know, just add it in the comment section below. Uh, your input would be greatly appreciated because I'm not that original kind. Of, well, I'm not that original of a guy. And, you know, what might sound cool to me might not be cool to anybody else uh, what else do I have oh one of my uh, subscribers recently sent me a recipe for hard lemonade and uh, the recipe sounds absolutely delicious I'll be doing that as uh, soon as I have time and I'll uh, I'll give this uh, the subscriber uh, credit uh, when I do a video on that but um, I mean, if you're watching the video, you know who you are. Thank you very much, and I will give you credit uh, since it's your recipe. Um, what else? Oh, in the, the last 30 days, I picked up 13 subscribers. And <clears throat> considering I only have 27 subscribers, in the last month, I basically doubled my, um, my audience which is actually amazing. Uh, I started making videos back in April and honestly I didn't think I'd get more than one or two uh, subscribers and I mean it's actually it's pretty cool. Um, makes me feel good to know that you know not only am I taking time to make videos and post them on YouTube but they're actually good enough that people take the time to watch them. So thank you for uh, uh, all you uh, recent subscribers and for uh, you guys who were already subscribers thank you for staying uh, subscribed and the oh the um, uh, my little bar build project down in the uh, the garage um, I just recently posted a video showing you guys what uh, that looked like I'm not going to do anything with it this weekend because I have too much going on but next weekend I will at least get the floor and one of the walls up um, maybe even do a uh, shoot a little video while my brother and I are working on it um, you know horsing around drinking beer and basically screwing off in <laughs> instead of working um, I don't know we'll, uh, we'll see how he feels the uh, guy tends to be a little camera shy <clears throat> um, well oh and uh, I have a, a packet of turbo yeast and I'm going to give that a shot and try to make um, like turbo wine coolers out of it. Um, I know one of the uh, the brew tubers on YouTube, CQ01, he's got a, a really good video on uh, turbo wine coolers. Uh, one of my recent subscribers just posted a video this morning on um, experimental wine coolers. And I'm guessing it's experimental because it's uh, the first time he did it. But uh, his name is Oram Wines, and uh, his video is pretty cool. So if you got time, check him out. Anyway, guys, uh, I, I don't want the video to be uh, overly long. I know I tend to, you know, babble and 
just carry on, but <clears throat> yeah, it's just really good. Hmm. <clears throat> anyway, as always, I hope your week this far has been good. I hope the rest of your week is even better. All right, keep brewing beer, keep making videos, take care of yourselves. Cheers. 17.